There are plenty of Shopify dropshipping stores doing tens, sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars a month in sales. So if you're brand new to this, it's a really smart idea to find these Shopify stores and just to copy exactly what they're doing. And that's what we're gonna do in this video. To help us out, I've plugged into this software called Zeek because what it allows you to do is actually to find these Shopify stores and these really successful products as well. So for instance, I'm logged in here right to the dashboard and it's showing me right here some trending products that are doing quite well over the last 30 days. So for instance, this one is one I highlighted in another video and you can see that over the past 30 days, this product has done about $52,000 in sales. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna open this up. I go ahead and click on the name. That will open up the Shopify store and we can take a look at this. Now, one thing I will note is that just because a product is doing well, doesn't mean it's, it's perfect. And looking at this store, I already see some problems with it. I mean, first of all, it is selling this, this lamp that has some sort of sand timer on it. But as you can see right here on the first page, you don't even have the ability to buy it. You don't even know how much the product is. Uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of confusing right here. If we click through to shop now, we can see that there's two of them here. This is also a little bit confusing to me because one's $80, one's $25, and they appear to be the exact same thing. But let's open up the $75, $79 one. So this is it right here. My guess is that this is the page that they're actually sending traffic to, but overall, I think the website could use a little bit of help just to streamline it. If you have one of these one product stores, you just want to have the one product. You want everything to be front and center. You want to be want it to be very clear. And this website isn't the clearest. The cool thing about it though is that even though it's not perfect, they're still doing really well. Zeke is telling us they're doing $52,000 a month in sales. So that's awesome to see that even if you're making mistakes, you can still do really well with it. So what are they doing right here? Well, we can see that they have the price of the product and it's crossed out and they have a sale going on. So this is really helpful when people see that, that there is a sale going on. Also, we have some more scarcity and urgency built in because we see that it's almost out of stock. So this will encourage people to buy right now. Also, there's plenty of different colors available, which gives people a lot of choices and options. Free shipping as well, which customers love to see. And up here, it also says free returns within 30 days. It says that there's a sale going on. So all of these things are psychological drivers that are encouraging people to buy right now, kind of removing all the risk for people as well. We have some great images in here, very, very clear images of the products and a really big add to cart button. I would make this a, a better, or I guess there's this, there is a better color right here, buy it now. I think for this website, they don't need an add to cart and buy it now because this is pretty much a one product store. So I would kind of clean that up as well. Uh, great videos in here. I mean, overall, this seems to be a very solid looking page right here once you actually get to it. Some great reviews in here as well. So let's actually take a look at the product on AliExpress. If we click on this, this will do a search and try to find something similar on AliExpress using the images. If it's not able to find it with the images, we can always do a title search. Okay, so here, here it is right here. There's a bunch of different ones available on AliExpress. And you can see with this, you can buy it for about $33. That will give you about a $22 profit on this item. This one would be a $20 profit, $22, $25. So there's plenty of profit in here. I'm sure if you actually dig around on AliExpress, you might even be able to find it cheaper as well to maybe inch this up closer to $30 in profit. I would not be surprised at all. So let's take a look at this one on AliExpress. Okay, so here we are and you see that these, this is, this appears to be the exact same one, the exact same images, at least some of them are. They probably pulled images from different listings as well, which is a really smart idea. And this is, I'm recording this July 1st and you can see it will be delivered by July 19th. So that's, that's pretty fast, so that's pretty good for Shopify when the item's coming from AliExpress anyway. So that's all they're doing is they're copying the items from AliExpress, 
plugging them into, into their Shopify store and then running ads to it. So let's actually take a look at some of those ads. Um, we can, what we can do here is we can go ahead and click this button. This will actually scan through the seller store and give us some more information about it. So you can do that for any product here. You can click this and it'll actually scan the seller's actual store. So if they have other products, we can take a look at those ones as well. All right, so this seller is actually really crushing it. As you see, they only have three products here, three different variations of this lamp. So it looks like what they're doing is they're selling it for different prices depending on different circumstances. So this is really interesting to see. So we see this one's selling for 25, this one's selling for 80, and there's another one here selling for 65. I wasn't able to see that, but sometimes products are hidden. So my guess is that they are running different ads to different products. So for channels that have really cheap advertising, or maybe they're doing it for free through like viral videos, maybe they're just doing this one for like $25 because it doesn't cost them very much to reach those customers. And for other ones where they might be running like Facebook ads or something else, which might cost a lot more money, they're selling it for like $80. And obviously that's working because they've had over a thousand sales uh, for that product. So what I really love right here is, here it'll give you information about how they are advertising this. Sometimes they're doing it through social media Sometimes they have ads channels. So we can actually see that this seller is using Pinterest. So that's a little surprising to me. I'm not big on interest, uh, sorry, Pinterest or Pinterest ads. So it's something I would definitely wanna take a lot more time looking into because obviously it's working for the seller. So that's now alerted me, that's now on my radar and something I wanna look into in the future. All right, let's move along here. Let's look at some other products and some other stores so we have the second one here. This is some pride stickers. It's done about $6,000 in the past month. This seller is from Australia though. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. I'll go ahead and open up their store. And we can see right here, this is what it looks like. There are these pride stickers with pronoun stickers as well. And I think the reason this is done so well is because we just ended pride month. So I think these were probably selling really well during Pride Month, but my guess is they're not going to sell as well going into the next couple of months. So I'm going to not analyze that one further because I just don't think it's gonna do that well moving forward. Uh, but this one's kind of catching my eye. This one looks a little bit different. It's like these weird looking sunglasses. Not a ton of sales, but let's take a look. Let's see if there's something interesting going on because this is a start, right? $4,200 may not sound like a lot, but that's a good start for some people. So let's go ahead and open them up and see what's going on here. They call these flippy owls. So what these are, these are regular glasses or perhaps clear glasses with these flippy sunglasses on top of them. So <laughs> I wear contacts. I used to wear glasses when I was a kid. Um, I always hated it because I thought it made me look like a dork. So that's why I refuse to wear some uh, regular glasses now, just because I'm like traumatized by my youth. And I especially remember buying these sunglasses attachments and really looking like a dork with them. But these make them actually look really cool and kind of sophisticated. It definitely catches people's eyes, which I think is cool. Now looking right here, they're sold out of a lot of colors. So maybe that drives scarcity, but I think it just will make people less enthusiastic about buying it because there's less options available. Uh, we do have a little scarcity here saying five items left, only one button, which I like, add to cart, um, and all the product description information. I would add more reviews in here. You can pull these reviews from like AliExpress if that's where you're getting them from uh, because you know I think six is a bit low. You don't wanna go overboard. Uh, this website has a lot, a lot of sunglasses. So a lot of different options in here. And that just depends on the way you wanna run your store. If you want one product or lots of products. So I really like this page because it gives you the product here and other choices as well. Let's take a look at whether they have free delivery on all orders that are over $50. So 
yeah, this is only about $30. It might encourage people to buy some more. All right, let's take a look at the product on AliExpress if they're able to find something similar with the, with the photos. Yeah, so I see something, this could be the same thing right here. It appears to be, well, similar, not the exact same thing, but this is selling on AliExpress for a dollar. So that's about a $24 profit, lots in there. Here's another one. This appears to be very, very similar as well. This is also a dollar. So you see stuff like this, you know, it's all about the marketing, right? It's a dollar on AliExpress, but here on the Shopify store, they really brand it very well. They have a great looking website. Everything looks clean and polished here with some great photos. My guess is that they actually bought the products and had more professional photos taken of it. But you're able to see that they're able to mark it up so much more because of that. Actually, let's check that. I mean, they might not have taken the photos. Sometimes AliExpress has wonderful photos of the items. I mean, these ones look okay. Yeah, if, if like this is a listing they're using, they probably took their own photos of it, but it would have been worth it for them to do that. And you can actually pay people to do that so you don't have to do that yourself. All right, let's move on here. I want to use another feature of Zeke, which is actually the store finder. So we're going to use this to actually find other Shopify dropshipping stores. And I want to find ones in the pet niche. So I'm going to type in here pet, pets, cat, dog. Let's start with that. And I'm looking specifically for dropshipping stores. And I want ones that have done at least $5,000 in revenue in the past 30 days. Obviously, the more the better, but we'll start with that minimum threshold. Okay, so there's lots of lots of stores that came up. Not all of them are going to be pet specific, but they will all have some sort of like pet uh, products in them. So let's see what we come up with here. Um, okay, let's just open up a random one like this nine live store. Go ahead and click on what's well, let's look at the stats first. So this is telling me that this store has done about $8,900 in sales in the past 30 days. So let's take a look at what products they're selling. All right. Well, again, this, this landing page is not great. I'm guessing this is not where they're sending traffic though. So let's actually go to the shop now. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that this seller is just driving traffic to the specific products because that homepage isn't great. Either way, I mean, regardless, I would still always make the homepage look nice and have products on there because people can work their way over there. Now, just looking at this, I don't know which of these products are doing well, right? So what I can do is I can come back over here to Zeke. Where was that store? Is this one right here? I can click on this button all the way on the right. This is going to, again, analyze their store and it's going to tell me which of their products are doing the best and how well those products are doing. So for instance, down here, I'm able to see that this Nine Lives Cat Grass Kit is doing about $878 a month. So that's their most popular product right there. So if we go back to the store and actually look for it, actually what I can do is just click on this and that will open up the product. What is this thing? It is I guess the cat is supposed to eat this and it's good for their health. All right, that's that's interesting, okay? All right, so I can see why that would catch people's attention. You know, it solves a problem. Uh, I love that they have multi-packs of this because this is definitely something people would buy more of and the more they buy, the cheaper it is for them, but the more money the Shopify dropshipper makes. So that's great. And coming back over here, we can actually scan AliExpress for this. Let's see kind of like how much the profit for this is. All right, nothing came up based on the image search. So let's actually go over to AliExpress directly and just search for what this is. So this is a cat grass kit, right? Yeah, so stuff like this, I mean, it's 99 cents, right? 99 cents, maybe, maybe $3, it's nothing. It's pretty much nothing. So that uh, free shipping on some of them as well. So it's a few dollars basically, and they're selling it for $40. So you do the math there. You can see it's quite a large markup on those, 
on those items. Uh, let's take a look at a bigger store here. So let's look, a, look at, for instance, this one, which is doing $65,000 a month in sales. Let's go ahead and scan their store before we even look at it, just to know exactly which products we should be zeroing in on. So this appears to be women's fashion. Okay, so they have a lot of products. They have 1,300 products, and a lot of these products are doing 800, 700, 300. So this is more about, oh, actually some of them are doing like $1,800. This is more about just getting a lot of sales for these different products. Now, coming over here, what we can do now is we can actually take a look at their social media channels. So this is the next step of this that is really important. How are you actually getting traffic to your store? And that's where I think it's really important to analyze what these successful sellers are doing. So a lot of these successful sellers have multiple social media channels and they are advertising as well. So let's take a look at this sellers. Let's take a look at their Pinterest to start. So you can see there what they've saved here, some more ideas for them, kind of get an idea of how they're marketing. We could also do the same thing with like Instagram. Okay, for some reason I cannot log into Instagram right now, but you get the idea of how this works. What I'm more interested in though are the ads channels because this is usually what drives the most traffic. So let's take a look at that. And bingo, right here, we can see all the ads that they're running. We can see whether the ad is active or not, when they started running it and where they're running it. So you can run it on Facebook, on Instagram. You can also run it through Messenger. So, you know, th there's, there's a lot here. This person actually has, appears to have multiple Shopify stores that they're running ads for in one place. So there's a lot to be learned here in different markets as well, not just the US market. So you can take a look at these ads. Um, this is a little bit of a hard example because they are running it for so many different uh, stores. So it's gonna be hard for me to find the ones for this one. But you can take a look at these ads and see what they're doing well. Generally speaking, the longer an ad has been around, that's a good indication that that ad is working. If the ad wasn't still around, then, I'm sorry, if the ad wasn't working, then they wouldn't still be putting money behind the ad and having it continuing to run. So uh, let's find a better example of that. So I'll come over to maybe this one. So here's a good example. This store right here, they sell these cell phone cases. And take a look at this. So what this person did is they made pretty much the same ad, but just tweaked them a little bit. And this is one of the keys when it comes to like Facebook ads, just just doing little tweaks to see what improves the, the uh, conversion rate and what makes it worse. So again, looks very similar, but this one says, if you own an iPhone 14 Pro Max, we recommend you buy this case. This one though says, if you own an iPhone 15 Pro Max. And then up here, we see the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So they're trying different things, seeing which market is more likely to buy this, iPhone 15 users, 14 users, or 13 users. And then based on that, they will put more money behind the ad that's actually working. So I think this is a critically important step if you are just getting into drop shipping. So that way you're able to spend a, a lot of time just looking at all these successful stores, really get an idea of what is working for them and what isn't working for them, and then putting all that into your own store when you do eventually start one of your own. So if you found this video useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you wanna try Zeek out for yourself, I'll leave my affiliate link for them in the description down below. That's what I'm using now that I'm working towards creating my own Shopify store. So if you wanna follow along with me as well, as I go through this whole Shopify journey, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will then see you in the next video. Bye for now.